I don't know about you guys, but personally for me, the biggest challenge in my fitness journey has always been getting and maintaining leanness. I'll put a photo up of uh, where I was when I started the current cut that I'm on. and uh, I've showed this photo before, but I'll put another photo up of where I am now. And doing this was actually harder than you would think. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say getting lean is easy. It's not. It's actually very, very hard. But I want to share with you some of the, the very simple changes that I made that really allowed for this to happen. And it's really not that complex. Again, I have this philosophy that if you really want to excel in things, sometimes it's about simplification. You've got to really simplify what you're doing, and that will help you achieve the goals that you want. So I think the first and main thing you need to do to lose weight is you need to start fasting. You Fasting has been a lifesaver for me. Fasting is what allowed me to kind of drastically cut the amount of calories that I have in a day and I fast personally by not eating in the morning like I don't have a breakfast right so I'll have my first meal at about 12 1 p.m. that's after waking up about 8 8 30 so it gives your body and quite a few hours to kind of just exist without food in the stomach and I think that actually also helps with my focus personally so it helps me achieve my goals not only in getting lean but also in doing the work that i need to do that day secondly you need to stop eating food that isn't prepared by you and by that i mean eating out ordering food from uber eats um going to restaurants like even if you are at work like eating food at like the fancy salad place downstairs like the reality is a lot of these places, like they're, they're preparing their foods with seed oils. You don't know how much oil they're using. There's always extra calories hidden into it. It's pretty processed food, not very good for you. And that's going to translate into excess fat on your body. It really just is, especially when most of us are living pretty sedentary lives. And, and, and that really, really exasperates the amount of fat that you actually end up depositing on your body. So try and eat food that you prepared yourself. I know it's a chore. And like Alex Hormozzi, for example, he says, oh, go and buy your food every day. Go and buy it because it saves time shopping, grocery shopping and um, for preparation. But I like he, he's got a point. But at the end of the day, I think that if you really want to focus on getting lean, you've got to prepare your own food because I'm sorry, you, you just you just you're, you're going to get fat eating out. Right. The reality is like eating McDonald's. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to get fat. Next, you're going to have to stop drinking. Like, you're going to have to cut your drinking. I'm not saying give up completely. Me, personally, I don't drink. But if you want to really, really get to the next level in your fitness journey, and especially in getting lean, cut out the drinking. The drinking is not helping you. It's excess calories. It's lowering your metabolism. It's, it's messing with your body. Some people have the genetics to drink and also get lean. Not for me, man. When I was drinking, I was not in good shape. Was, those excess calories were showing themselves on my body in, in ways that I didn't want to. And so I stopped drinking. And I also like just didn't really feel good when I drank. So that's why I, was, I also stopped drinking, cut that out. Also, I'm going to learn to love cardio, man. I don't care who you are. Even if you can barely run, you're going to learn to like cardio. Um, I was someone who hated running. I hated the idea of it. My lungs would hurt. It was peak on my life, bro. When I started running, I used to always get pains. Like, I used to get pains, like, right here. You know what I'm saying? But, it's again, it's about discipline. You just got to push through. Now that I'm back in the UK, I run every single day except for my cheat day Sundays. Every single day, I do two miles. And that has done wonders to my physique I hadn't I haven't lost muscle you know all these people are afraid oh you're gonna lose all your muscle we're human beings bro we're built to walk and run that is the two activities that really kind of set us apart as, as, as animals is the ability to walk and the ability to run so and if you can't do those like cycle get on a bike in the gym like I'm someone who can't really run on a treadmill 
like I just get so bored. I'm like, what am I doing? All this movement, I'm just sitting in, in, in one spot. I like to run outside. I run to the gym. It's a great way to kind of kill two birds with one stone, going to the gym and make do my cardio at the same time. So that's how I do my cardio. And especially avoid like, avoid like crisps and avoid like chocolates and like, and I'm not saying like avoid them completely because even for me, I allocate like a very small amount of calories in each of my day to kind of like some snacky food, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it, you can uh, you can do that still and you'll still see results. At least I have seen results in myself while doing that. But like avoid this, don't be binge eating, man. And when it comes to calorie counting, like it obviously works. But I would say that for me, I've never done it. And you can see by the results that I showed, right? I still managed to get lean. I've just never really done it because I think it kind of, it messes with my head a bit too much, you know? And it's honestly kind of inconvenient, like having to weigh out every single thing that you eat. So by all means, calorie count. If you're someone who's who likes to do that kind of stuff to really meticulously track things like that, calorie count. Not really for me, but I'm, I'm just telling you, you don't need to. Learn specific meals, learn learn how to eat intuitively and you'll really you'll you'll really have a more enjoyable experience other than that we're going to be doing leg day today so next we're going to be doing uh, showing you my leg day video um i feel really good today so i have a lot of energy so it's going to be a better day than yesterday yesterday was terrible at the gym but um We'll do our leg day, and then we'll catch up at the end and wrap it up like usual. Simple. Thank you for watching. Again, start our workout with a run to the gym. Two miles, seven and a half minute pace mile. You know how it goes. I'm getting better and better at this. I feel easier and easier each time. We then moved on to leg press to start. I kind of suck at squatting, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just like a leg press fiend. So we did a we did a pyramid. So we started off light, um, topped out about uh, four plates a side, and then went back to a lighter weight uh, to to really like finish off the legs. After this, we did some uh, hamstring curls on the lying down machine. Uh, I really like the lying down machine in comparison to the sitting up one. I don't know, it just feels a lot better for me personally. Again, I did a, a pyramid uh, light to heavy to light again. Obviously, I forgot to film it, but we then did rear kicks on the rear kick machine in the background uh, of the previous video. Uh, again, a pyramid up to five plates and then back down to two. Um, I like that exercise, works the bunda, works the quads. I'm quite quad dominant in all of my leg exercises. And then we did leg extensions, another pyramid, about five sets in total, going up to four plates and then back down to one. And we're really trying to get failure out of this. Uh, I, I love the pump that I get from these. Um, and then after these, I did some sissy squats and weighted crunches just to finish it all off. And it was a really good leg day. I felt good energy and hopefully next week's leg day is just as good. And another good day comes to a close. Walking back from the gym now, had an amazing leg day. It's funny how things work out, you see. Yesterday, the gym was terrible. Didn't have the energy, wasn't feeling it. Today, killed it. I killed my run to the gym. I killed my job interviews today. I killed everything I could have. I meditated, I got up early, I made sure all my shit was ready for the day. Today was a tier one day, and the only thing we can do is replicate that tomorrow, man. Like, I feel like it, it's, it's crazy how you hit tiny little lows and then you hit highs. Life's a journey, it really is a roller coaster, and it's about riding it and having a good time while you do that. At the end of the day, it's all about the experience of life, you know, and what you can learn from it. And today was just something that reinforced the, the fact of why I'm doing all this. Another thing that I think 
helped me today was the fact that I'm getting more and more responses for my job search and for my career search. I feel like I'm finally being able to get more confidence in the fact that I will actually find a spot in somewhere where I can start, you know, my employment journey and making some money and starting to go towards my financial freedom because at the end of the day, I'm young. And as I keep working on my personal brand as kind of my side project, I want to be able to have a normal income. So today in the last few days, a lot of real estate options have opened up and here in London real estate is very expensive lettings and sales so I, I think I would be an idiot to not really pursue it given the fact that I think I have a very good sales personality and 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 I, I would be able to actually do very well in these scenarios another good thing is a lot of these places you get a nice car and if you do really well they'll even give you a Mercedes and if you know me bro fucking love my Mercedes Benz I'm Albanian what can you expect You'll never catch me driving anything else other than an AMG. Like, my goal is a C63S AMG. Oh, my God. If not a C63S, but a, a W204 C63. Oh, my God. The older body styles, they look so good and they sound like a lion. If I got mine, I would get the, um, I would get the, the lion, like a tune on the exhaust to make it sound like an actual lion. I've seen videos of that on, on YouTube. So that's what I would do for mine. But yeah, going home now, gonna eat dinner. In terms of what we ate today, today we fasted for a really long time. And then uh, I ate uh, some like chicken cutlets and a cod fillet. And I ate that with some lettuce and a bit of ketchup and some olives. And then just before the gym, I, I had two boiled eggs. So now I'm quite hungry, I'm not gonna lie. And just after the gym, I had a protein bar. So now I'm very, very hungry. So we're gonna go home and hopefully, hopefully I'm gonna eat some chicken. I think my mom is making me some good food today. So I always love when mom makes me good food, man. You gotta appreciate your mom, man. She always, she'll do anything for you, bro. Like anything, anything for you. And at least for me, she's helped me a lot in my life and pushed me a lot in my life. She's been honestly the main driving force behind me, so I'll always cherish her for that. But yeah, man, we're gonna go home, we're gonna eat, we're gonna edit our videos. And then we've got honestly a very good weekend coming up. Uh, tomorrow might be quite a busy day. I've got some preparation work to be doing for my interviews on Friday. And then Friday, we've got our driving lesson. Um, that's gonna be fun, because I really need to pass my driving test, man. I need to drive here in the UK. I used to drive for years in America, man, at Union. It's so annoying having to do that test again, you know, now that I'm back in the UK. And then eventually I have to do my motorcycle exam. That's going to be even more fun. Once I get my motorcycle again, oh, bro, I'm just going to be zooming around the city. I miss my 600 cc's, man. I used to have a Yamaha FZR 600, a 1989 model in, in, uh, in really cool color scheme i'll put a picture up for the video but that's what i used to ride in america and i loved it over there um so we're, we're, these are all things we're going to be working towards and i'm going to be documenting them in, in this journey um tomorrow is going to be uh shoulders and arms day psalms day and with that is the end of the workout week we're gonna take a day or two rest we're gonna take Friday rest definitely. And then Saturday, I think I'm gonna rest too. We'll see how Sunday goes. I probably will get into the gym, but I think uh, towards, as the, as the week ends, we're gonna keep making videos, but I'm gonna try my hand at making a video about something else. I think I, I'm, I'm still deciding whether to make a video on either tanks or uh, I might actually make a video on FPV drones because I've got a lot of interest recently on FPV drones. And, I've, I've got some ideas cooking up about what I could do with them in the future and maybe even starting a business with them. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we end up doing and what I end up doing for my channel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video too. There's going to be more coming. Hopefully I can do this every day. I'm going to try to do this every day. I actually really enjoy it. And peace, guys.